Welcome back guys, you are watching Brothers Together. In this video, we will be discussing about an important important topic which many people ignore and I uh, couldn't find this particular content uh, in a precise manner anywhere while I was providing my option entry during KCT 2022 guys. So that is the reason why I am uploading this video which will be based upon how your software which allots seats on your option entry works. Understanding the software's mechanism and how it works becomes really important. I'll tell you how it is important and in the same way I'll be telling you the working mechanism of this software in order to allot seats for you guys uh, as part of your KCT 2023 exam. So uh, I hope this video will be very much exciting and in the same way informative guys and you wouldn't be regretting your decision to watch this video when you just reach the end part of this video and if you are someone who is new to this channel then make sure that you hit the subscribe button because these kind of videos about option entry and uh, the tips and tricks which you need to inculcate in order to make the most or get the best possible seat for your particular rank in your option entry so that things will be uploaded in this channel very soon and my next video will be based upon your option entry format about how your lists format should be so that is an important important video and i uh, hope many people are waiting for the same thing and i'll be coming up with that particular video very soon guys so with that note and with that assurance so let us start this video guys first things first why is it essential in order to understand how this uh, software works guys whenever we are up to something we should be understanding how that particular journey is so now we are up to something we are up to getting a seat in our uh, dream college or in the best possible college for our particular rank and for that reason what is the medium you are providing your option entry list and you are getting a seat but what is there acting as a middleman so uh, the thing which is bridging the gap between us and the allocation of seats is the software which KEA is using for option entry guys now understanding the fact that this software acting as a middleman plays a major role in our uh, counseling process in our aim of getting a seat in our dream college you should be understanding how this software works in order to go in a retro fashion and by understanding how this software works you should be in a position to think of what you should do and you will be getting a greater clarity on things about how your option entry list should look like yes guys you will understand all this once i tell you the mechanism of the software so now talking about the main crust of this video or the main gist of this video which will be about uh, how the software works i'll be uh, taking an example in order to make you understand okay Suppose consider me as a student who is applying for my KCT 2022 during my KCT 2022 exam. I had applied for option entry and through that software I had uploaded an option entry list of about 8 colleges for instance. Suppose let it be 8 colleges for instance and my first college is RV and RVCS, RVIS and BMSCS, BMSIS, PSCS and uh, SJCECS, SJCIS. So let, is, let it be an arbitrary list of an arbitrary student who enters his particular option entry list for the software. So now what does the software do? Here comes the major part of this video guys. So listen to me carefully. This will become handy for you in a larger extent which even you wouldn't think of when you are preparing your option entry list. So make sure that you listen to me carefully. The option entry software iterates over all these colleges one by one not from the bottom but from the top so it will be going from the top from your first option it will be starting its iterations suppose the first uh, option which you have given is rvcs it will go to rvcs it will check whether rvcs can be allocated for your particular rank according to how people have chosen the particular option so the college allocation or the seat allocation does not only depend upon your rank but it also depends upon what rank people have chosen that particular option first in their option entry list first in the sense in a higher priority once it goes to rvcs since my rank since i took my example my rank is around 2000 and to about 2000 range rvcs uh, won't be allocated for me so next the software goes to the second option so listen to me you should be understanding how these iterations go first option is checked and as soon as the first option fails then it moves to the second option then it moves to the third option from this there are two takeaways guys first thing is that you should be providing your prioritized options in the starting rather than giving them at the end so this should be in your mind while you are preparing your option entry list so the things which are under priority with the colleges or the seats which are under priority for you those seats must be having a higher position in your option entry list that is 
if you are someone who is uh, wanting to join SJC for computer science engineering then SJC CS should be at the top since the software iterates over option by option from the first option rather than the last option so that is one thing which you have to keep in mind and the second thing is that there is a myth among students who provide their option entry to KEA that suppose again let me take an example to make you understand guys this is important guys please make a note of it suppose i am a student i want to pursue sjc computer science cause my rank lies somewhere wherein my sjc cs can be allocated for me but still i'll be uh, thinking of putting rv cs in the starting so that they, there may be a 1% chance of allocating that particular seat and the myth is that if you place rv cs above the sjc cs which you are desiring then people think that in case rv cs couldn't be allocated for your particular rank even SJC won't be allocated no guys so that is the main reason why I am making this video because one of our community members had asked this question for me in telegram yesterday so that is the reason of urgency for making this video in which I am trying to make you understand about how the software works suppose let us take the same example itself I have put RB CS in the top and then SJC CS and my rank is ranging around 2000 and 2200 so in that case RVCS won't be allocated that doesn't mean that SJCECS won't be allocated or that doesn't mean SJCECS won't be checked by the software as soon as RVCECS fails to get allocated for you the iteration moves towards SJCECS and once the software feels that among uh, those people who have choose for SJCECS in their option entry list if your rank is capable of getting a seat in SJCE for computer science engineering then that option entry software will allocate the same thing for you and you will be able to enter SJCE for your computer science engineering guys exercise all these techniques during mock round itself cause that will give you a great idea about what things you need to do in your first round to get better results from your mock round and for that journey I will be there with you through each and every step of yours cause I know how important is this KEA or KCET counseling for you in order to pursue your next four years of graduation in a good engineering college and a good course which suits your passion and suits your skills the most and again as I told you earlier I'll be coming up with many videos in which I'll be discussing about tips and tricks which you can inculcate in order to make the most out of this option entry having said that those videos come with a lot of experience of getting involved in this process and not only that helping many of my peers who had applied for this counseling process last year so with that experience I hope I strongly hope that my videos will be a lot of use for you if you are someone who is following that for your option entry process and if you were able to understand what I am trying to deliver to you then make sure that you mention it in the comment section so that I will be able to go through them and I will be able to get a certain amount of satisfaction that I was able to uh, deliver things which I had thought of so if you enjoyed watching this video and if you were able to grab something informative out of this then make sure that you hit the like button as you do always so that that will give me a lot of motivation to upload same kind of videos in the coming future and if you have any kind of doubts about your option entry process and the verification slip then make sure that you put it in the comment section so that I will be able to go through them and I will be able to think of what can be done regarding it and if you are someone who is confused about your uh, process or this option entry process and the journey of getting a seat in your dream college then uh, make sure that you join our telegram group which is exclusively there for KCT 2023 aspirants and in that you may be able to discuss your doubts or your uh, difficulties among your peers and even I will be able to support you individually over there thank you guys see you all in the next video bye